Hey guys, it's Amanda Panda. I'm so excited. Today we are gonna be creating a pony that I've been wanting to make for so long. A pony completely covered in rhinestones. That's right, today we are gonna be taking these teeny tiny Swarovski crystals and covering a pony completely from head to toe. To attach the crystals onto the pony, I picked up this gem tack glue. I didn't know what exactly Exactly, we are going to need to make this pony so I picked up this little rhinestone kit from Amazon and these look like the little tools to attach the rhinestones I'm not sure what those are some clips ooh these will probably come in handy we have two pairs of tweezers um, more of these little sticks oh baggies to put extra rhinestones that's good what's this oh a really large sorting tray and this red stuff is wax which is gonna help us pick up the crystals I'll show you in a little bit and let's see we got some labels so we can label our little baggies if we need to another sorting dish some more sorting dishes and this really oh this is really awesome little tiny containers for extra rhinestones I have three different sizes of rhinestones for this project I put each size in its own little sorting dish that's really awesome now this is the little tool to pick up the rhinestones but you do need to add some wax at the end of it to help you pick up the stone and then let's go ahead and use another dish to hold the glue I don't think any pony loves rhinestones and gemstones and glitter and fabulousness as much as rarity so I thought she would be the perfect pony to get bedazzled today all we have to do is go ahead and pick up her mane and her tail so that way they don't get in the way of the crystals and let's go ahead and remove her head it should make it easier Easier to place the crystals once we get started bedazzling now the first step is going to be laying down a thin layer of gem glue on a small area you do not want to cover a big area with glue because it is definitely going to dry before you get a chance to lay down your rhinestones I thought it would be perfect to start off with rarity's eyes first let's use some black Swarovski crystals to outline the top of Rarity's eyes and put in her eyelashes these are the smallest size crystals that I could find they're a little bit bigger than I would have wanted them to be so we're probably gonna have to make these eyes a little bit bigger than what they currently are so that way we get the best size and shape of Rarity's beautiful almond shaped eyes I used regular silver crystals for the light reflection in the middle of her eye and then some dark purple ones for her actual eye color and then we'll just fill in the rest of her eye with some more silver crystals her eye is all done it came out really awesome and it didn't take that long but the hard part is now starting we need to cover the rest of Rarity's head in the Swarovski crystals I chose the color opal for Rarity and the stones are beautiful they are like a milky white color base but whenever you put them in the light they flash with a sparkly pink purple color just so beautiful and I thought perfect for rarity oh my gosh the head took forever way longer than I would have ever thought so it's finally time to start working on rarity's body like I mentioned earlier I did pick out three different sizes of crystals and what I'm doing is placing the crystals against each other as close as I possibly can and mixing up the different sizes having the different sizes makes it a lot easier to fill in all of the gaps because some Sometimes you have a little gap sometimes you have a big gap and this is going to be the best way to make sure the entire pony gets covered and you don't have too much space in between each rhinestone when I was doing research for this video oh my gosh I obsessed over watching the Swarovski shoe videos 
And this was the method that a lot of people used and the one that I decided to go with. So let's just keep repeating this process, adding a little bit of glue and some more rhinestones. To be honest, this process is taking so much longer than I ever could have anticipated. So let's go ahead and work on her cutie mark really quickly because I was getting a little bit tired of working with just the opal stones. Let's lay the small smallest opal rhinestones in between the diamonds and then we can go in with some light blue crystals for her cutie mark. How awesome does this look? Again, because of the size of the crystals, this cutie mark is going to be just a little bit bigger than what it is right now on the pony, but I think it looks really awesome. It looks so cool. Now back to the opals. Let's just keep on going and fill in this entire pony with crystals. I had originally planned on making the main six into these awesome crystal ponies, but I'm not sure anymore because this is taking forever. But I have already started, so I have to finish. Let's keep on going. One billion years later, Rarity is finally done, but let's take a look at Rarity before so we can remember what her coat looked like and take a look at Rarity now. Oh my gosh, all of that hard work was totally worth it. She is so beautiful, so much cooler than I was really even expecting her to be. This is just so awesome. Now I probably put, oh my gosh, I don't know, at least 12 hours into making her. So let me show you how I even bedazzled inside of her hair. Like let me part it so you can see I mean, there's crystals everywhere all over Rarity. I even ran out of crystals not once but twice. So this pony took a really long time because I had to wait for the crystals to come in after ordering them three different times. But I'm so excited because she really is beautiful. And I wish you guys could feel how heavy she is. There's so many crystals on her that, oh my gosh, she probably like gained a whole pound. You can really see how close together each one of those crystals was placed. Her head is still fully functioning and that is the original hair on this brushable My Little Pony figurine. Now we have to take a look at Rarity in the light so you can really truly see her spark. Cool. She looks so beautiful. Oh my gosh, if Spike could see her all blinged out, he would be even more in love with her than he already is. I would estimate there's somewhere between 2,000 to 2,500 rhinestones on this pony right now. So if you're interested in creating your own bedazzled pony, I will list the exact colors of Swarovski crystals that I use down in the description below along with the website that I bought them from and the approximate quantity of crystals that I bought in each size. Now should I keep making the main six into crystal ponies? Give me your thoughts down in the comments below 
and let me know which pony I should crystallize next if I make another one and which color crystals should I use. Well, that's it for today's custom My Little Pony video. I hope that you have enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, little pandas. Until next time, bye. You can follow me online to get the latest news and updates, like my Facebook page, facebook.com backslash Collector, or follow me on Instagram at Collector. Wanna mail me something? Guess what? You can. Mail it to mandapanda P.O. Box 2855 Humble, Texas 77347.